Hi there, I'm Mark. This is the Biz Lounge. FTSE 100 on the up again today. Earlier, it was a quarter of a percent higher at 7,283, much less than yesterday's 150 odd point rally on the back of the first round of the French election. Still good though. Now, we had full year results from FTSE 100 hospitality firm Whitbread earlier today. It used to make beer, but now the company owns brands like Costa Coffee Chain, Budget Hotel Group Premier Inn, and also some other brands like Beefeater Grill and Bar and & Block. Now, revenue was 6.3% higher at 3.1 million, pre-tax profit 3.5% higher, just over half a billion, and the dividend came in 6% higher at 95 odd pence. Now, it all sounds good, but the company actually missed forecasts by a few million pounds, and that's taken the shares down today. The company also warned of tougher times ahead as consumer spending takes a hit and Brexit continues to hover in the backdrop. Now, all this has dragged the shares down a whopping 6.5% today to £40.23. Now, Whitbread is a well-run company and it's got plenty of cash to keep paying shareholders dividends. The metric for that, by the way, is called the dividend cover. It's simply the number of times it can pay shareholders dividends out of its net profits. And at the moment, it's a very healthy 2.78 times. Anything over one and a half is seen as usually good. But that weakness in consumer spending is a bit of a worry, so it's going on to my back burner for now. Plus, you could probably get better return in terms of dividend yield from other stocks right now. Now, talking about consumers, do you remember Woolies? British retailer famed for its pick and mix sweet counter, sold records, clothes and household goods as well. Well, it sadly disappeared from the high street about 10 years ago, having fallen on tough times. Well, now a former managing director of Woolworths, Tony Page, is thinking of bringing the brand back and he's my big boss spotlight today. Now, the Woolworths brand name is actually owned by Shop Direct. That's the company behind online retailer Very. And that's owned by the billionaire Barclay Brothers. So Tony's got to convince them before anything else can happen. Well, I think it's a great idea, Tony, but I can't help but thinking maybe it would be better as a digital brand. But good luck, though. I do miss those yummy bonbons they used to have in the pick and mix counter. Mm, I wonder if we'd get those through the post. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Please do share, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter.